You guys have not made my best cinnamon roll recipe that you will ever eat, then it's about time you do so. I think a lot of people get overwhelmed when it comes to making cinnamon rolls, but I promise you, once you try it for the first time, you're never gonna go back to another cinnamon roll recipe again because this one truly is the best. So let's get started and make this super fun recipe. The first thing the recipe needs is some warm milk to help activate the yeast. So we're gonna microwave this for 45 seconds until it's nice and warm. Microwave it. Mm. <laughs> so the milk is warm, but we do not want it super hot. So how you can tell when your milk is perfectly warm for a recipe is just by sticking your finger in it. If it's too hot to touch, then it's likely too hot and will kill the yeast. So I'm gonna add this to the bowl of my electric mixer. And now it is time to add our yeast. So I'm using quick rise yeast. This is the yeast that you wanna use for this recipe. So it calls for one packet of yeast or two and one fourth teaspoon. And now we're gonna add one fourth cup of sugar to really, really get the yeast going. And I just like to let this sit for like a minute or two to really activate the yeast. Smells yeasty. <laughs> Next step is to add some melted butter. We're using one fourth cup. And then we're gonna use an egg and an egg yolk. Now, if you don't have an electric mixer, you can absolutely make these cinnamon rolls by hand. Simply mix this all together with a wooden spoon until it's well combined, and then you'll start adding your flour and other ingredients. Okay, this looks good. Now it's time to add our bread flour. One of the reasons we use bread flour in this recipe is because it has a higher protein count, which makes the cinnamon rolls nice and soft and fluffy. Trust me, you guys, you want to use bread flour. It's readily available at most grocery stores, so don't skip out. That's in there, we've got some salt, so add that in there, and then we're just gonna give this a mix. As soon as it starts coming together, you want to switch to your dough hook, or you can knead the dough by hand. So the next step is to grab some olive oil, and you're gonna drizzle it all over the bottom of a bowl. You want it to be a pretty big bowl because the dough is going to double in size, and I like to just kind of get it into a nice ball, just so that when I take it out, it's and then you're gonna put it into the bowl, flip it over so that the oil is coating all of the dough, and then you're gonna cover it with plastic wrap and place a warm towel over it, and we'll let this rise for an hour or until it's doubled in size. The dough has been rising now for about an hour and a half, so we're gonna take a peek at it. Oh yes, this is exactly what we wanna see. Now we're gonna add some flour to a clean surface. I'm using cutting board here. So dump the dough out. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Basically, you just kinda wanna press it out. Now, take a rolling pin. If you don't have a rolling pin at home, you can always use a wine bottle. That is a secret tip. You're gonna wanna coat the rolling pin with lots of flour. This was actually my mom's rolling pin from when she was a little girl. And now we're just gonna roll this out. We want to get it so it's about a 14 by nine inch rectangle, but just do the best you can. It's okay if it's not perfect. Now it's time to add our brown sugar cinnamon mixture to the filling. We're also gonna be adding some softened butter, some brown sugar and cinnamon here. Now we're going to rub the brown sugar into the butter. This looks amazing. The brown sugar is worked into the dough and we wanna roll these as tightly as possible. And what I like to do so that the cinnamon rolls are nice and thick and fat and fluffy and beautiful and delicious is just kinda of squish my log together like this. So now here's a tip for you guys. You wanna cut off at least an inch of dough on either side, just because the filling is likely not as perfect on both sides and you'll end up with kind of floppy cinnamon rolls. Now what you wanna do is take your serrated knife and just make some indents. You wanna make nine of them and make sure they're pretty even. Beautiful. I mean, seriously, you guys. Look at that swirl. It's gorgeous. I'm obsessed. I'm so happy. Cinnamon rolls just make me proud of myself, you know what I mean? All right, so set this aside for a second and we're gonna get our pan ready. So what you guys wanna do is take two strips of parchment paper so that they fit in the pan and you're gonna double line them. What I also like to do is just spray this with nonstick cooking spray. 
and then we're gonna place our cinnamon rolls in here. Now what we wanna do is cover them with plastic wrap again, place a warm towel over them, and we're gonna let them rise for about 30 minutes more, and then we'll preheat our oven and get our bake on. While the second rise is happening on the cinnamon rolls, we are going to make the most delicious cream cheese icing. You just need a few ingredients. So first we're gonna add some room temperature butter to the bowl of an electric mixer. And we've got some room temperature cream cheese and we're gonna whip that together for about a minute until it's well combined and nice and fluffy. Next we're gonna add a splash of vanilla extract, about a half a teaspoon, and then just half of our powdered sugar to start and then start this on low speed until the powdered sugar starts to combine with the cream cheese and the butter, and then we'll crank it up a notch. And now you can add the rest of your powdered sugar. And that is what the icing should look like when it's done. It's nice and smooth and creamy. So we are gonna stick this in the fridge until we are ready to frost our cinnamon rolls. Oh my goodness. These look absolutely beautiful. You can see that all of the cinnamon rolls are now touching. They're not overly puffy. They're just looking gorgeous and I cannot wait to bake these. So we're gonna put these in the oven at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes until they start to get nice and golden brown along the edges. Cinnamon rolls have come out of the oven. They've been sitting for about 10 minutes and now we're ready to frost them with that really delicious cream cheese icing that we made. So what's great about this recipe is that if you want, you can absolutely freeze them now as is once they've cooled or to make overnight cinnamon rolls after the second rise, you can simply cover them with plastic wrap and a towel, place them in the fridge, and then take them out in the morning and bake them. Oh my goodness. Look at that fluff back there. That bounce. Bump. I'm ready to take a big bite. I can't even wait. I can't even put it on a plate. Oh. Yup. That's where it's at. Truly the best cinnamon rolls you guys will ever eat. I promise. If you use this recipe video, you will not fail. So I wanna hear if you try them at home. Leave a comment below if you've had them before and if you haven't, it's time to get your bake on. Be sure to use the hashtag ambitiouskitchen on Instagram and tag me when you post a photo. See you guys later.